folks, a real plain dealer, Dorothy Mulhouse brings me love. Hey, Diddly D. My name's Jonathan Henry, and I am your ringmaster here at Giant Dragons. Today, I'd like to take you for a drive. I'm gonna go across town. I'm gonna improve my day, hopefully. I might be able to improve yours a little bit. Probably not, but damn it if I won't try. So, as per usual, uh, for those of you who don't know me, I would like to talk to you guys about gaming, making your games better, getting together with other people and spending good time in good company, and uh, coming away from that whole experience with a little bit of something that uh, uh, makes you want to get back to that table and spend more time with those good people. Well, today I want to talk about being a fan. I know that's uh, a little bit, a little bit vague, but stick with me for a second. And hopefully, I'll clear it all a little bit up. When I first started playing role-playing games back in the '80s, uh, I did what most kids did. I, I viewed these games as a sort of an adversarial relationship between players and dungeon masters. And, uh, well, 20 some odd years later, it, uh, get almost 30 some odd years later, it, uh, still seems to be that way in a great many different places and a lot of people's gaming style has a lot to do with winning. And that sort of takes away from the the story element, or at least it, it detracts from creating a shared story through shared imagination. When you watch a TV show or a movie or you read a book, the author doesn't have an adversarial relationship with the characters in the book or the people on TV. Unless, of course, well, okay, there are people who do, but we'll leave that be for a moment. Uh, when you take an adversarial approach to your games, it, it becomes a zero something. Somebody's got to win, and in order for somebody to win, somebody's got to lose. And that's not really how life works. <laughs> uh, good stories reflect more on life and reality than a lot of people give it credit. But uh, putting yourself in a position as a dungeon master to fight with your players isn't really the point. They they struggle against the story elements you introduce. They fight with your NPCs and the various bad guys that you put up against them. They struggle with the story and the puzzles and the, the minutia that makes up their world. And more than anything, being the DM and being in an adversarial position diminishes your ability to tell those stories. But there is a better way to do things. And that way is through being a fan of the characters. Now this is advice that was a paradigm shift to me for how to run my games. To go from the, my job is to throw shit at you and to challenge you and to try to to uh, beat you down as best I can and make the story about how you stood up again. And to make the stories now more about the struggles of the characters, the struggles of the world that they inhabit, and to root for them, to, to want to see these these extraordinary people doing extraordinary things succeed. Or at least die trying. Being a fan of your characters really changes the way you look at the game. 
it, it changes the way in which you present storylines. It changes the way in which you, you devise story arcs and the way that your your players will act as characters. When they see you less as an adversary and more of a collaborator, you'll get a deeper connection with your players by being a fan of their characters. You'll explore things you otherwise wouldn't because you don't have this confrontation model in the front of your mind. You don't have this need to fight with your players to try to generate a story. And uh, games like Apocalypse World and Dungeon World and uh, all of the Powered by the Apocalypse games really put a good head on that and really show a way to change the paradigm in your game. Uh, it's not easy. It's not something that a lot of people are accustomed to after decades of running these games and having a good deal of fun running those games, or otherwise they, they wouldn't be here and they wouldn't be clicking on a, a silly little video. In conclusion, what I would have to tell you is, is the next time you sit down to run one of your games, look at the characters that are involved and try to find some way not to necessarily beat them to best of the characters, but uh, a way to make their lives more interesting. And that doesn't always mean hard. Uh, it, it can be. It certainly can. But uh, it shouldn't be restricted in that way. Your game shouldn't have to revolve around constant conflict between the player and the DM. Your storyline shouldn't be restricted by conflict with monsters and conflict with the, the constant looming threat of, of badness coming. Uh, simple things that happen every day are hard enough without throwing in monsters. And in a in a setting where your characters are able individuals, maybe in dangerous situations, throwing a little bit of mundanity in there to, again, make their lives more interesting, not necessarily more dangerous, can really add a bit of spice to your game. Well, I'm sure I haven't uh, explained it as clearly as other people have or will, but uh, hopefully I put a little bug in your ear about it, and uh, that's all I can really hope to do. So, thanks for taking a ride with me today as I cross the beautiful state of Ohio on my way to a bit of fun, of fun and adventure. So I, I hope your games are a lot of fun, and I hope to see you around my gaming table. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.